Hi, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma. Let's go ahead and roll the dice and see who this reading is going to be for. All right. Oh, I've already done Libra. Let's check. Let's check. Gemini. All right, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. So if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share, especially if this reading resonates with you. Please keep in mind the energy is fluid and time is an illusion. So you may resonate with this reading in any time space. This is for Gemini, all placements. Forgive me. Um, you can find me every weekend on CosmicUpdates.com. I am the weekend tarot reader um, over there. You will also find that link in the description box below. You'll find a link to my Etsy shop if you're interested in a reading. And there's one more link that's very important to me as well. It is a GoFundMe link. Currently, my mom is battling stage four colon cancer. And I'm her only child, and I'm also a single mother of three. So I have taken on the sole financial responsibility of caring for my mother and her medical bills. Um, a lot of her medical supplies are not covered by insurance, uh, unfortunately. But if you guys would be willing to share that link, if you want to donate, but most importantly, if you can just pray uh, for my mom and our family, I would deeply appreciate that. So Gemini, let's jump right into it, my blessing and my prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you at this time. Please keep in mind that today is December 28th, 2022, but my intentions are going to be placed for January 2023. But again, this is timeless, but this may be energy that is surrounding you in January or that is still attached to you and needs to be cleared out. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Gemini in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles, soul lessons, and generational curses Gemini may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Holy Spirit, please show me messages for Gemini. Judication. Okay, that's interesting because I kept seeing jail and like court. So I kept seeing two things. I kept seeing um, a, a, an outside of like a, a jail, like fenced or maybe even a prison. Um, and then I was seeing an actual like courthouse, court building. Um, and then the card that came out is adjudication. So there's a decision that was recently made or a decision that you've been waiting for, um, Gemini. For some of you, this could have been uh, pertaining to something legally. For others of you, this could just be a decision that you've been waiting on being made between you and two other people, okay? Um, the number three. So three people are involved. Uh, I also feel like this is something that's taking quite some time. Distant horizon. So this is something, yeah, it's taken quite some time. I feel like maybe maybe it hasn't been finalized yet, but you're, you're preparing yourself to either leave, travel, like this could be a decision about being able to travel or being able to move. If this is about children, it could be about being able to take children out of state, but it's, it's a long time coming. I actually think you're looking out to something in the future that isn't here yet. Like that's what you're really focused on because maybe this decision hasn't happened yet, but when it does, it's going to close out a really long cycle of instability. Coffin, the number 19. And on the bottom you have poverty. So see, it's going to end. In, in the future, there's a decision coming that's going to end a cycle, number 10, twice, of poverty, of lack, of loss. Okay? But it's like you have to... You have to get rid of something. That's why you have this coffin card. You have to fully rid yourself or end yourself of something. 
because that coffin is about a transition and a rebirth. So you could be going through that shift, that change, that perception shift, that healing, and removing yourself from that lack mindset, Gemini. I also feel like somebody could be losing something in court. Maybe it's not you. Maybe maybe you're going to court to fight for something and you win. But there's somebody here who loses something. For Gemini, please. the two of pentacles you're showing up as the star okay aquarius energy outside energy is death some type of rebirth your challenge is the four of pentacles not being able to let go being very very stubborn and stingy with with your wealth or your knowledge here and then you have the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck you have the page of wands the eight of cups the king of cups the Knight of Swords, the Sun, and the Lovers. That's Gemini energy, Leo energy, Pisces. All right, let me see here. Did you, you had to go through something alone. It changed you emotionally. Something changed you emotionally. This was recent. I think whatever you've been blocked from in the past, like you had some type of, um, I mean, I'm also seeing like a creative block, <coughs> you know, but <coughs> there's some type of block. It was um, adventurous, like adventurism or the ability to move the way you wanted to move all of a sudden became difficult. But you had to go on a journey within and recognize something with this Eight of Cups and the King of Cups. It was, it was within you. It was something that had to be pulled out from within you. Current energy is a Two of Pentacles. You're needing to make a decision and you're kind of struggling with that. You're going back and forth. Again, that's what communication is about. There's, you're not sure how is this going to work out. How, how is this going to happen? Which direction do I go? Is it good? Is it bad? I feel like you're trying to balance everything that's coming your way. Oops, I'm holding this upside down. Ten of Wands. Okay. So a lot is coming down on you. I feel like right now, Gemini, if you feel overburdened or overwhelmed with the amount of responsibilities and tasks that you have on your plate, it's a, it's a life test and a life lesson. It is. It's, it's, it's about whatever you went through in the past. Now it's your turn to show kind of like what you're made of. What did you learn? You have the wherewithal, the knowledge, and the ability to work through this and to find your balance and to be able to handle everything with grace. Six of Pentacles. See, you're, there's something that you really want to make right. The Two of Swords, but it's blocked has to do with a family life here or some type of commitment could have even been a marriage and you're like i'm gonna fight for this but you you oh are you not sure if you have to fight for something do you fight for something with them or do you fight for something on your own first you you see what i'm saying it's like you know that you need to take a period a moment of time here where you invest in yourself you're not quite sure how to make something work or how to bring balance to something and it's you're paused right now with this two of swords there's an inability to make a decision or to move forward that's at adjudication and distant horizons the reason why a decision isn't being made right now gemini is because it's not time for the decision to be made that's how much you have to trust in god that if something isn't working out the way you want it to work out then that means it's not supposed to right then and you gotta get your hand off the stove Stop touching it. It's not for right now. God will tell you when it's time for right now. I think that's what you're learning with the star. The star is your current energy, uh, Gemini. So you're coming into like clarity, divine clarity, wisdom, knowledge is being bestowed upon you. Um, because you've asked 
God to show you the truth. And you have a lot of hope to heal something or to, yeah, I just keep seeing like you have a lot of hope to heal something or to make something right. Ace of Wands. Forgiveness, the mystic, okay? So that's the queen of wands and the four of swords. Again, same thing. It's a marriage. You want to fight for something and you want to make it work and you have a decision to make. What's interesting is there is reconciliation or wanting to heal something, but I feel like the decision is to end it, right? Because this is the four of swords, which is silence, and then you have the four of wands on the bottom. I do see you still fighting for it, but it's going to take time because you have to work on yourself first. Take it out, it resonates, but that's what spirit is showing you because the phoenix was under here. So it's like you have to go through this process, this refining process on your own where you're connecting with, with the divine on your own because you're going through a rebirth, Gemini, death card. Something is ending. A cycle is for sure ending, but you can't fully move forward until you let go of it energetically. Your mindset is shifting. Clarify, please. Clarify death, please. For Gemini. The world card. As above, so below. Who else got this? This is making me think of someone else's reading, and I can't remember who it was. But when I see this card, the world card, it just really makes me think of in the Bible when it talks about, you know, don't focus on worldly things, pay no mind to worldly things, okay? Um, and that's what's happening. It's like your whole perception is shifting and you're detaching from the old ways of the world, from the 3D. Something is ending and that ending is causing you to see differently. A lot of intuitive visions are coming through, and I think a lot of deep realization about yourself. Yeah, the sun. Something's being illuminated for you. God is here. And the bridge. Deep emotional healing. Okay, five of wands. This is not easy for you, but it's not supposed to be. Understand that you're being conditioned and tested right now. And if you keep pushing through and don't give up, and push through this fire you're going to experience a major breakthrough and it's coming a lot quicker than you think it's coming a lot quicker than you than you think. your challenge gemini is the four of pentacles again not wanting to let go of something What is this, Holy Spirit? What is this Four of Pentacles for Gemini? Why is it the challenge? The Weaver, the Page of Swords, the Five. Why, why do you not want to let go of the story, the pain, and the trauma? You keep, like, I'm going to say something, and if it's not you, Gemini, then place it on the other energy. But what Spirit is showing me is the challenge is that somebody can't let go of the victim mentality. They keep writing a story of lack for their life based on the way they think and the way they talk. Because the way they think and the way they talk is not aligned with what they want. They may speak badly upon people or gossip or focus on lack and I don't have this and this happened to me and this is it. And it's all of this negative low lack talk with this um, page of swords and the five of pentacles and it is too much and then there's overindulging here with the five and the four because that's the nine of pentacles so it's like somebody isn't they're they're overdoing it when it comes to their lack mentality their inability to manifest something that is positive there it is the spiritual plane 
they don't understand why what they want is not coming down that way because they're not manifesting it properly. The emperor, whoever it is, this person is so stuck in their ways here with the emperor that they're they're not realizing that they're the reason why they haven't reached the success they're looking for. They have a lack mindset. They're in a victim mentality, woe is me, and you know, that's why the Bible tells you that the tongue is a dangerous weapon. It can give life and death. And we sit here and praise God, and the next minute, we curse someone out. That's power. And every energy you send out of your mouth, I love you, God, I hate you, person, it all comes back to you. So I don't know if this is you or someone else, but that's what they need to work on. They have this lack mentality, and the way they talk and think it's creating this lack lifestyle. Clarify, please, the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands in this deck is called the Eight of Inspiration. Now you have a direct sense of where you want to go. And I see you kind of charging forward down this path very quickly, where one minute, Gemini, it feels like everything is up in the air. All of a sudden, something's going to um, uh, transform and it's gonna make sense to you and you're going to have like a, a, an ability to take action on a manifestation and bring it to you. Like it's going to appear, that's what I'm seeing. And it's gonna happen suddenly and quickly. Clarify please this Eight of Wands, what is this Eight of Wands bringing in? Closing messages for Gemini. Judgment. <clears throat> Breakthrough. You're, you're gonna, something's gonna be revealed to you, two of wands. You've been waiting to make a decision or struggling to know which way to go. Something is gonna be revealed to you, six of wands, which then gives me the eight of wands. Victory, it's a breakthrough in your thoughts, your perceptions, your mindset. You have the Phoenix, Taurus energy, Scorpio energy, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius. Um, This happens quick. This happens quick. Somebody uh, is able to see through something, see through themselves, and they, they rise from the, the ashes like we, with the phoenix here. It has to do, though, with releasing something that's within yourself. This judgment card isn't about judging others. It's about stepping in and taking accountability for why you are where you are. And once you do that, everything else changes. And when you can release that and not hold on to any resentment, pain, or harbor any guilt, and you just say, I forgive it, because the only way to change it is to forgive it. And once you forgive it, you can move through it and everything changes. But I see a lot of success for you, Gemini, and I see it coming very quick. Some of you may even be getting some type of promotion when it comes to work, money, and commitment. All right, Gemini, I'm sending you guys much love. Talk soon.